Hey guys, Dan here, and follow along as I show you some tools to help you make your back porch go from this <laughs> to this. <laughs> Let's get started. Today we're going to use the BE 14 inch Whirl Away surface cleaner. It's got the spinning broom underneath here. It's pretty heavy duty. It's semi pro. It's not 100% pro. It's the type that doesn't have the big old handle. It's not very expensive. I'll link to it below in my Amazon links and stuff like that so you can check it out. Maybe get it shipped to you wherever you're at in the country, in the world, whatever. Uh, it's pretty awesome. All the specs and everything, you need to check it out. You need to use your judgment if this is going to be good and safe for you and for your needs. I have a 4,000 PSI, 4 gallon per minute pressure washer. Works fantastic. I am getting used to it. As you will see watching this video, I've come a long way, guys. I'm really starting to like it. Again, the BE 14 inch Whirl Away. All right, I give this thing a thumbs up for sure. Another tool, and people have been asking me about, and I did demo it a long time ago, probably two years ago, I showed how this tool use, uh, can be used. And uh, I went ahead and I use it again today. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how that this thing can be used to maximize your time. It's about 70 bucks, I believe, uh, at my local shop. You might be able to find this online. I don't have any links to it yet, but I'll look. So go ahead and check down below uh, in the featured items. I'll see if I can find you the water broom. It's got four jets. I'm not sure, or nozzles or tips or whatever. I'm not sure what uh, degree they are, but you will see how they work. Um, and what they do is they just kind of move the dirt along, move the debris along, and give you a nice clean surface for your surface cleaner so you don't get rocks and stuff all up underneath the boom while it's spinning and do some damage, cause some broken windows or break the plastic shell. Uh, can it clean the concrete though like a surface cleaner? You'll find out. Of course, we're gonna use our trusty tip, white tip, and that's how we get along like some edges and into places where the surface cleaner can't actually get. Uh, so this does a really good job. I like the white. I'm not sure what degree it is. We'll talk about that later on in the video as well. So we're starting out black nastiness and crap like that, and we end up Looking nice and clean, no stripes, super quick and easy. It's 9.30 now. I've been delayed about 20 minutes. I'm not sure what time I started. I don't remember. But we're going to start. I'm going to show you guys what time it is. And we're going to go ahead and start cleaning this area here. And then we're going to zip through it. And we're going to go ahead and finish off this back porch. This is a water broom. And so the way it works is you have it on your wand like this. And you got the caster wheels and the four, I think they're 40 degree tips maybe. I'm not sure or just blowing and it's kind of like an air blower but it's a water blower and the good thing about this is it, it's good to clean your surface off of any rock and debris that might get caught up in your surface cleaner fly out or mess up the, the, the spinning wand okay so that's where these things come in handy these are not high pressure enough to clean you're not going to be going along and cleaning um, it's just not going to work I'll demonstrate it It'll, it can get better, it'll look better, but it's not going to do what you would hope it would do. This is not a surface cleaner. This is a water broom just for moving debris out of your workspace. Then you go back with your surface cleaner, and we'll demonstrate that. All right, so you see how there's like a lot of debris here. There's, tw there's twigs, there's pebbles, um, leaves, crap, just crap, just crap in the way. So the water broom is where we're going to just sweep it all away. So just watch me sweep the concrete with the water broom. You'll get a general idea and then um, I'll try to go real slow in an area and show you how well it works as a surface clean. It works a little bit faster 
uh, than if you just had the one tip and you were just blowing off your concrete. Maybe. Now I'm going to try to demonstrate it as a cleaner. We'll go over there where it's really, really bad, see if we can make a difference. So, I mean, you see it makes a difference, but it's terrible. I mean, that's terrible. That's, that's crap. You can't do that. Surface cleaner is perfect for that. So, it doesn't it don't work as a cleaner. that for the surface cleaner and then or for the uh, water broom and then pop it out all right so it works good to clean your surface off. a nice area to work now now we're clean now we can go with our surface cleaner whether it's a 12 inch a 14 inch a 15 inch or a big old 20 inch you don't want rocks kicking up so it's a good idea to clean your area off you can use a push broom you can use a whisk broom you can use a water broom you can use a blower or you could use just your regular old like white or orange or yellow or not orange but yellow tip and blow your area clean before you get with your surface cleaner all right time to surface clean we're going to use the white tip uh, to clean up the concrete underneath the vinyl and give us a little space to work for the surface cleaner to get up close to the, the footer of the home and we're going to go behind the air conditioner uh, all with the white tip people want to know what degree this is um, it is it works degree I don't know. I want to get it all up underneath the vinyl, although the vinyl is attached to a bottom road there. If you stick your finger, you're not going to go underneath the vinyl. For God's sake, it'll blow off in a windstorm. Uh, but you don't want to sit there and beat the crap out of the vinyl underneath there either. So you just go like you saw. Quick, move along. All right, that's it. Uh, so we got ourselves a nice little border now. We can go ahead and we can use the surface cleaner. And again, this is the BE 14-inch Whirl Away. I link to it below in my video description so you can check it out, um, check out all the specs and stuff like that.
so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do this square and then we're gonna put the water broom on and we're gonna rinse the square off, okay? sure if you guys can see this. That's like muddy water. What happened was when I did that area there and we loosened up all the dirt and crap, I used the, the water broom and I broomed it all over as you saw to make it clean. But because of the grade of the concrete, a lot of the muddy water ended right here. So we're going to use the water broom and clean this slab off one more time and blow it over here. Eventually, we'll blow most of the crap off into the rock and, and dirt. And that's, that's why we're working this direction. It gives us an area to move all this dirt that's coming loose.
a lot of nasty. Man. So that's the second time we water broom this area. But like I said, a lot of this crap here made its way here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work it this way. And we're just gonna keep on going until we get to this last square. I had a problem with this thing being on the side here. I'm used to it being right in the middle with the Briggs and Stratton. Um, so with it being right in the middle, it seemed easier to work than on the side. What I have found is, if you go side to side rather than top you know front and back forward and backwards forward and backwards it wants to kick up and go crazy but when you go side to side this thing stays better so watch me work if you're having a problem i'll show you how i do it forward and back see how it wants to lift as i'm going forward when i go back to lift the front as I'm going backwards, side to side. You don't do that. looks like it's more work to you. This or this. Yeah, this. Just that's why you see long passes, do long passes, and then stop and then come back. Long passes. Instead of stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. It's it's more efficient to just keep on going.
All right, so we're done with this center here and the little triangle and that over there. Uh, so we are well more than halfway done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera up real high and I'm not going to touch anything. I'm just going to let it run. And I'm going to go ahead probably at two times speed and we're just going to go ahead and pressure wash the rest. Start from finish and we're going to start with going along the, the vinyl, the concrete on the edge there, going around here and then I'm going to surface clean. I'll probably bring you in closer, surface clean the wood um, so we can see how that works. And then we're just going to go ahead and do the surface clean here and then we're going to water broom it off and then we'll be back and we'll be done. So I'm going to try to not do any more talking, just going to let you guys watch progress be made.
And that is that. There was a lot of green mold and mildew and crap on this wood. That's going to look really nice when it's dry. Took a little while to get it up. That's going to look really good. So now, any of the stuff that you see on the house, I didn't really worry too much about cleaning it off because we're going to do a house wash. Not as a part of this video, but we're just going to do a quick house wash and get this place looking right. Ever trying to beat that crap up, just let it go. It'll dry in about a half hour. It'll be in much better shape by the time you get everything all rolled up. And if you got a little whisk broom, you can whoosh, 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 blow it in a little bit. Take your hand blower and blow it in. Don't keep applying water. Take your blower and blow the water away. Okay? And that is pressure washing about 1,200 square feet of concrete, chemical free, using a couple nice tools and a little bit of uh, hard work. Thanks. I'll see you guys on. Tell me about the whistle. The whistle.